Happy Friday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, November 5th. Friday, you pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. And November 5th birthday, we'll do your reading next. If you pick card number one, you have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. What are we seeing here today? Well, you know, for some of you, this could be money worries. Um, maybe someone's asking you for money. I do pick up children. For some of you, this could be expenses because of children or... Um, they want to borrow money or there's just expenses there. I do feel that energy. But I do feel that there is going to be some, you know, it, it's generous energy, but don't go overboard. You could be generous too. But I do feel there's generosity around you too. For some of you, this could be um, even charity work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm picking up that energy. There is good energy with finances, I have to say. But again, there's a new path opening up here, new emotional feeling. There is a yes answer I pick up. Um, whether you have a question or something. And this is sometimes you're just uh, feeling a little bit out of sorts. But I do pick up children and generous energy, I have to say. All right, if you pick card number two, you have the Ten of Cups. All right, it's all about family, love, and happiness today. I do feel that this could be a nice surprise um, is possible, or there's just a lot of love around you, okay? So it's a happy time. Maybe there will be a wish fulfillment for some of you, even a, some kind of celebration. For some, it's new love, or it's a new beginning in love. I see a strong healing energy. We're moving forward here. Um, don't procrastinate over something. If you have an idea, you got it. If you have to stand up for yourself, you got it. Um, this is taking back your power and it's going to make you feel better. Um, new way of thinking. Um, there's a sense of you being more aloof with some things as well. Um, any critics, anyone that shuts you down, well, I think you're going to reciprocate. But I do feel happy energy here. It looks good. And you love, renewal of love. Card number three is the two of wands. Um, there's a lot of energies here I pick up. I think like a Leo, Taurus. Um, it's time to move forward. Pick a path, move forward is what I'm feeling. Make that decision and go. Surrender, release, whatever it is. Um, things are on a little bit on divine timing, but there is more confidence. And fighting those negative thoughts. It's like, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to move forward. So I do feel that energy. And this could be a money-making idea coming through too. Okay. Now, when we pull it together, we got the five of pentacles, we got the 10 of cups, and we got the two of wands. I do feel that this is a day of taking our power back. There could be someone around that's maybe messing with our insecurities or um, making us feel insecure, but taking our power back and positive thinking is going to help. Um, there's a musical tinge to this, so, you know, kind of like to make yourself happy or whatever it is, uh, put some music on, feel great, and retreat. Take some time for yourselves. Um, I do feel that there is a focus on, or it's an ending of a difficult situation. Maybe you're focusing on things that didn't work out. We have a new beginning coming through, too. I do pick up a Cancer and Sagittarius um, energy. There are new beginnings here, so kind of letting go of that negative energy moving forward. We do have a strong energy here of spiritual secrets may be revealed, like um, spiritual growth, um, manifestation. Some secrets may come through or some information as well, okay? Interesting day. Well, this is the reading for today, Friday, Octo October. I meant November 5th. I hope you have a wonderful no um, Friday. Happy birthday if you're born today, November 5th. This is a quick and general reading. This is your solar theme and your wish card. Okay, solar your theme is the uh, major arcana of strength. You will get through. You will go get through anything that's going to be major during your solar year. You'll have the strength to get through it and you will push through and you're going to complete something successfully. It will come to an end in a successful completion. Um, rebirthing is showing up here too. There's some things that you may have to rehash. You're going to have to make some important judgment calls um, during the solar year too as well. Dealing with a little bit of karmic issues as well. Something may be rehashed, but the answers will come. Okay. Um, when it comes to work, career, and school, I do feel new job, new opportunities, new financial beginnings. So this is like a beginning of a new job or a new offer, and there's a lot of growth there. And you 
you've got the power to do so. You might have to mediate between some people or be the one with the sound mind and um, the referee. <laughs> For some of you, I picked that up. When it comes to finances, it's slow and steady growth. Um, I do feel some kind of money or savings, whatever it is, it's going to build very lucrative in the future. This is great time to start your own business as well. Slow, steady, beautiful growth. So I do feel that. For love, if you are single, I do feel that there is going to be someone who may be very charming and very thoughtful coming through. I do see that energy. Um, and for some of you, you may actually meet somebody who is charming witty, very thoughtful, and also very charismatic. If you are in a relationship, you're going to ascend it to another level. This means wherever you are in your relationship, you can get engaged, um, move in together, or, you know, tie the knot, whatever it is, or some of you may be even purchasing a home. You're building a strong foundation there. All relationships, you may be dealing with people from the past coming back, um, dealing with siblings, dealing with people that you grew up with or people from the past. I do feel that for some of you, children are going to come into question and dealing with children. That is in your energy. So that's quite interesting. All right. Now, your wish for your solar year is the four of cups. I'm gonna. I see this in a few ways. One, for some of you, know that you are on the right path. You're not alone. Others may come in to help or a whole new like group of people may come through. And that's going to help you. It's like don't do it alone or don't go at it alone. You're not alone and the wish will come through. Okay? So for others, it's counting your blessings now. And in making your affirmations and trust your intuition where it's guiding you. Uh, for others, it will be finally a breakthrough. There's some kind of luck there, okay? But it's on divine timing. The important numbers for your solar year is 6, um, 9, 66, 4, 1, 20, 21, 8, 43, and 11. Okay, well, I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a um, wonderful Friday and catch you back tomorrow for the next reading. Have a great Friday. Bye, everyone.